hi everyone um my name is Dee if you're new to my channel if you like my content I would so appreciate you liking this video commenting and subscribing and then hitting the notification bell so you can be notified every time I upload I'm hoping to release this video at midnight on Christmas Eve so fingers crossed um I've recorded a couple of times and then I ended up crafting more. So, um, since that happened, I might as well redo my video. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to forego too much product information of other companies just to keep this from being a long video. So if you have questions on certain products, just go ahead and comment down below and I will try to answer the best of my ability. Okay. So here we go. Um, in here, these are going to be all Adornit stamps. Um, there's Christmas, Winter, and then um, Just Because. And you'll see what I did. And these are um, um, stamps from Kit of the Month as well as just regular stamp drops from Adornit. And these are all designed by Diana Markham. And then at the very end i'm going to show you a kit that i bought from adornit that um has been designed by lindsay olstrom okay so first off we have the wassail stamp that is <clears throat> part of the kit of the month it's already passed so unfortunately you won't be able to sign up for this but what they do is those that are in the kit of the month get um exclusivity of the stamp and take advantage of free shipping um down the road they do add these if there's any available down the road but you have to pay shipping on it so the best way to save money and best bang for your buck is through the kit of the month okay with that being said links will be down below okay so this is the wassail stamp and i used this red a uh, monotoned paper from Adornit. I added some gingham and then some recollection embellishments to give it just a little bit of bling and a little pizzazz. And I kind of went um, traditional here, um, but on the more whimsical side as far as the coloring. Okay, and then I made another one. Uh, and um, same thing, I, I just used different colors. These are all um, Copics, and I think, I think this is all Copics too, if I'm not mistaken. And then I used some Adornit paper here that coordinates with the um, wassail. And then um, here is some uh, rickrack from my stash so pretty okay and then next is um uh, this stamp is the gingerbread loaf stamp um diana markham originally released this as a digital in her etsy shop and then adorn it eventually um bought the art and turned it into a photo polymer so this is the um stamp i made this into a um, five by seven. I used the um, rolling pin stamp and then I added um, the word gingerbread that is from um, another stamp set and merged the two images together. I um, paper pieced this. This is a doornet paper here. Um, this is honeybee, I believe. And then I paper pieced this and then I colored with my Copic markers, the bread and then the gingers. This is the coordinating um, gift tag that um, comes with this stamp set. So, so cute. So I did that. And a lot of these are going to be uh, for my personal gifts for Christmas. Here's another um, five by seven. And I used green to shade, and I don't have the marker to tell you what color it is. And then I colored the little ginger here. Um, 
these are um yeah creative expressions and i can't remember who this other one is by okay and then there is this cutie pie this one i think is called gingerbread faces i believe um this is creative expressions i used a hobby lobby card base and then um i used this circle die and i believe this is from my creative time and then this is diana's beautiful beautiful image and the stamp set i believe is called gingerbread faces there's um two gingers like this the male and a female and then um this stamp and um, there's three stamps on that set so pretty okay next i needed to make um some gift card holders so what i did was i took some bags from daiso like this and i made them into gift card holders you can put cash in here so I use, and these are very um, simple looking because these are non-crafters. They're basically going to open it and throw in the garbage. So this is um, adornment paper along with this. This stamp right here um, is this. It actually is a ginger. But I did a masking technique and um, used a different image and merged them together doing masking. Okay, and this is for my niece, Hannah. And then this is for my niece, Ariana. Um, and these are the Dornet papers. And I used um, Copic markers. All of these are Copics. So I got two gift card holders here. And then I used this beautiful... I'm in love, you guys. I'm so in love and I'm so tickled with my coloring on this image um I think I use like four different earth tone colors to color this up they're all Copic mother Copic colors along with my white gel pen and then these are little um peppermint treats that um is on a paper pad from my creative time so I just fussy cut the little peppermints out and put it here so this will most likely be for my little sister because there's only the boys basically dominate in my family <laughs> there's only a few of us females okay next we're jumping over to the snowman um set it's the um, snowman that's the hot chocolate and then the add-on stamp. So we'll start with the recipe stamp club image and then I'll show you what I did with the add-on stamp. Okay, so this is adorn it. And then these two right here is from Creative Expressions. And I believe this right here I think is adorn it. Um, this was in my scrap, so I, I think it's adorn it, but don't hold me to it. And this is adorn it right here. And then I just colored up this snowman. I love that. I love how I colored this. Um, so pretty. Um, so this is a five by seven card. Okay. And then next I used a tag from my creative time and this is the add-on the snowman add-on stamp um for the recipe club and i just colored this um just the face and then the little um rim of the hat i just did lightly colored and then the hat is paper pieced and this is i think this is from my creative time the um gingham and then this is just some foam that I cut out with um, my Creative Time stamp. These two image, these two pieces right here are um, one, one die set from my Creative Time. And it came out so cute. I'm either going to leave this as a tag or I might put it on another um, bag because I need to make several of those bags for um, Christmas Day. 
Okay, and then here is another snowman add-on stamp. Um, and this is the little mug. I distressed the edges with, um, what is this? Tumbled glass. Um, it's a distressing by Tim Holtz. And then right here is some Prima paper that I matted this um, die cut onto. And then this is a Hobby Lobby card base. And I just inked the edges with, um, I think it's walnut stain. And then, uh, I think this is honeybee, I think. I think this is honeybee, but I'm not sure. And then I added two different laces and then some flat back pearl trim. And I think it came out so pretty and very soft looking. And I love how I colored the flower. I hope you're enjoying these. I had a lot of fun um, making these. I've been oh, fighting um, a cold and a virus. So I've been a little slow at crafting. And then I was injured for quite a while. So <laughs> Had quite the couple several weeks. Um, this um, this paper right here and this strip is from Adorn It, and then this is um, Creative Expressions paper, and this I think is my Creative Time. I'm almost positive. And then this die cut is from Chaos Craft, and this is another hot chocolate snowman image from the recipe stamp club and I think it came out so cute nice and wintry so this doesn't have to be Christmas it could be you could use it for um New Year's or just a winter card to say hello okay so now we're jumping over to some um more gingers and these are gonna be um, I try to think outside the box to give you ideas. So these are going to be generic cards that you could just, um, inspire someone, uplift someone, just a note card. Uh, it could be spring and I'll show you what I mean. And these just using Diana Markham's gingers. So, um, this is yellow, blue, and then I use some turquoise colors with my Copics. And this is a Hobby Lobby card base. And these are, yeah, these are all Copics. And then I used my Creative Time um, die right here. And uh, I think this is Honeybee. So adorable. Oops, Avalanche, I have so many projects I made. Um, I think I have six more to go, so hopefully I can finish by sometime next week. Um, because they sent out another design team package in the mail, so I got to rush to get my last six projects done, um, by next week. Okay, so this is, um, Baking Spirits Bright stamp set, and instead of going, like, traditional Christmas, I decided to make it, like, an any day type card, um, this is a My Creative Time bow die. And then this paper, um, I think this is from Jamie's, um, shop, which is Not Too Shabby Shop. Um, I think this is from her, I believe. And then I inked, um, I used Hobby Lobby card base, this pink one. And then I edged, um, with tumbled glass again. And then down here, I used a uh, walnut stain. Okay, and then one last one. This is um, my Creative Time paper. I think this is Honeybee. Um, this is my Creative Time right here. And this is my Creative Time right here. Okay, and then I used this stamp set from Diana Markham that she did for Adorn It, and it came out so cute. And down here, I will put a sentiment, or I might put the rolling pin with like an inspirational word. 
So we'll see. I'm leaving it blank because um, I won't put something here until I know who I'm sending it to and what for. <laughs> okay, so I hope you have enjoyed all the projects that you have seen. There's a lot here. Um, and this is um, what I'm partaking in for um, Saturday, Saturday Morning Makes, hosted by Jill Norwood every single Saturday, um, pretty much without fail. Anybody can join. Um, just if you want people to find you, just use the hashtag SatMornMakes. It will be in the description box so you can see what I'm talking about. And that's what people will search and they will come across your content. Um, I really enjoy participating as I have time. You don't have to do it every Saturday. There's no commitment. Just jump in and it could be any genre of craft. Okay, I want to wish everyone a safe and wonderful um, Christmas weekend. If you um, celebrate or if you celebrate Hanukkah or if you just celebrate winter, a uh, winter solstice just happened. So, um, I want to, um, just wish you a wonderful holiday weekend. God bless you all. And I will see you next week. Bye-bye.